Ashland High School. Thank you for being on Ram TV. Today is Monday, November 3rd, 2014. Monday is Green Day. Here's what is happening at Richland High School. Lunch menu is baked oh. pasta with whole grain roll. Congratulations to all Richland students that had artwork displayed or performed at Fall of Fine Arts Day yesterday at Richland. You are all amazing. Physical forms for winter sports are due tomorrow, November 5th. Every athlete must complete forms for each se season. TSA work days. TSA work days will be held today and every Monday and Thursday from 3 to 4.30. Boys soccer game. Fan bus student, co student council will be sponsoring a fan bus for the boys soccer game on Tuesday. Please sign up in the main office if you are interested. Cost is $5. You must pay when you sign up. Payment is non-refundable. Picture retakes. Picture retakes will be held on Wednesday, November 5th. Picture order forms are available in the main office. Students will be called to the theater. Intramurals. The 8th grade line soccer game is rescheduled will be rescheduled no, for it. Today's canceled. <laughs> Wait, interview the eighth grade line soccer game rescheduled for today is canceled. <laughs> French Club French Club is celebrating National French Week next week, November third through seventh. Be on the lookout for opportunities to answer trivia questions and win prizes Monday through Friday. French Club wants to get everyone involved in celebrating National French Week, so there will be themes for all faculty and students. Mustache Mon Mustache Monday, French T shirt Tuesday Beret Wednesday, Scarf Thursday, and French Flag Friday. Also, there will be a French movie night from 5 to 7 on Friday, November 7th in C105. There will be food and snacks available. Bring a friend for only a dollar. Get involved, help French Club celebrate, and tune in tomorrow for a short video. Mock trial, there will be mock trial practice today after school. <laughs> Kanama Career Day. Kanama Health System will host Career Day on November 10th. Requests will be filled on a first come, first serve basis. Application packets are available in the guidance office. Ski club meeting. There will be a ski club meeting for the students in grades 7 through 12 interested in trips to Seven Springs and students in grades 9 through 12 interested in Killington trip on Wednesday, November 5th in Mr. Winnering's room, D112. It will be held right after school and should last no longer than a half an hour. Math Counts. Any 7th or 8th grade student interested in joining Math Counts, please sign up and be 113 with Ms. Bailey. Math Counts works. Math, math Counts work days will be held every Tuesday and Wednesday after school from 3 to 4. National Honor Society meeting. There will be a National Honor Society meeting Tuesday, November 4th at 7 a.m. in the Young GI room. Can Congratulations, middle school and varsity cheerleaders. Congratulations to the middle school and varsity cheerleaders. Both squads placed first this weekend at the Laurel Highlands Cheer Classic. They will compete against again this Sunday at EPJ. Way to go, girls. Freshman and sophomore class, sophomore class meeting. There will be a freshman and sophomore class meeting during homeroom in the theater on Thursday, November 6th. Students should report directly for, from lunch. Army visit. A representative from the Army will be held, will be in the cafeteria during period 5 lunch on Wednesday, November 5th for interested students. And now for the weather. Good morning, Ram Nation. I'm Noah Glacky, Ram TV Chief Meteorologist. The high temperature for today is 53 degrees and low is 39. No rain in the forecast, but it is very, very cold outside. Have a great day, Richland. Go Rams. It's cold outside. I think I've got to leave. In your standard shoe tying knot, you need two full, two full size thumbs. I can tie my shoes with only half of one thumb. Are you ready? Uh huh. This is the hard part right here. Making this loop. Oh, oh my gosh. Poof.
I'd feel dizzy, disoriented, even nauseous. Gramamine helped my flashes subside, and I hadn't had a flare-up in years. Years? Years. Until recently. I was jogging and listening to Spotify. Casually browsing iTunes. Flipping through the radio. And I heard this new song that I loved. I loved. I looked to see who it was, and that's when the vertigo hit. It was Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. The whole room started spinning. I felt nauseous. I don't like Taylor Swift. I know I don't. Yes, you do. You friggin' love her. Hi, I'm neurologist Dr. David Doctor. Over the last one month, realizing you love Taylor Swift has become the leading cause of vertigo in adults. That's why now, there's Swiftamine, the fast-acting antihistamine tablet that's pink and bubbly, just like Taylor herself. I took my daughters to a Taylor Swift concert. I did not want to go. I do not get it. But as soon as the concert started, I was on the ground. My daughter said I was slurring my words, and that those words were, girl can write a song. Thank heck for Swift to me. I never got into Taylor Swift because in interviews, she's always like, I'm Taylor Swift. It's like, no. Then the other day, I found myself humming Shake It Off, and I got so dizzy, I fell into traffic. Thanks a lot, Taylor. Just kidding, you're amazing. <laughs> Medically speaking, Taylor Swift onset vertigo occurs when one of her songs forces your brain to fight your ears. Your frontal lobe says, oof. Taylor Swift, she's always wearing like a 1950s bathing suit. But your ears say, shut up. This is a perfect song. Taylor Swift onset vertigo can strike any time, any place. Oh man, this beat is banging! Who is it? Taylor Swift! What? I freaking love Taylor Swift! Swift to me, for when you realize you love Taylor Swift. Have a fantastic day. Job, like, you're terrible.